Hi, it's your girl Asabia, and today we are going to edit this automated system to run our business. Let's begin from the dashboard. If you have a file, you would see dashboard, instruction sheet, you have your invoice, print, sales, costing and pricing, depreciation, customer system, and then settings. So when we, the first thing you're going to do is jump onto our instructions sheet. Okay. Now it says first go to settings, replace the product and salesperson with yours. Okay, let's go to settings. Settings is somewhere here. So there we have settings. So we are going to replace the product. So say this is rice. Okay, this is this is corn, this is computer, this is cheese, this is, let's, let's, let's leave this like as it is, and then update the pricing to 200, corn, maybe, So I believe you have all your prices and everything in mind already. If you don't, then you would have to do your costing and your pricing properly before you get to the stage. And in order to do that, you would have to look out for your fixed value, your fixed assets, and then depreciate them on the various uh, on your cost, so you don't end up overpricing or underpricing. That was one of the things we talked about during the session. Okay, so the salesperson. So maybe you, yours is not a salesperson, but you're a supplier and you have branches or people you supply to. Okay, and then you want to know the amount of sales that has come from those people. So let's say my salesperson is called Sabia. Another is called, say... Sika, another is called Ama, Sandra, and then the rest. Okay, so if you have branches, you key in those branches, but if you don't, you can just leave it as it is. Okay, so this is a pool, it's going to pull out all our unique customers that we, um, we get into the system. Now we are done with the settings, let's go back to the sheet. Print. To print, highlight the area you have to print. Right click or press Ctrl or Command P to print. Okay, now we have we are done with this part. Let's be sure it worked properly. So let's go to our sales sheet and see what happened. Now you see all these red dots, it means they are not in our system. So we can just Highlight this and then we click the delete button to take them off. Okay. Okay, but when we scroll down here, all the new products that we have in there, we are going to see them. Okay. The same applies to this. So you can remove everything from especially if you've gone to the settings and you feel you see any data there, you can delete it. All you have to do is click and highlight and then press on the delete key on your keyboard okay now when you see an arrow next to it is a validated cell so you can't input anything in it the only part you're going to input is the date and then the customer okay so let me clear this so if you have received this you should have all the samples in there can go away everything here can go away so then you have it like this okay so now if you want to input sales you can double click here just double click then you have your calendar pop-up so let's say you were doing some past sales you're now keeping the records um the customer's name is d d okay and then the product DB purchase was a computer, 
and the quantity of computer is five and then the salesperson who did it was a Sabia and you see the month was I think April it's giving me the month this column it's called the helper column okay the helper column it, it just enables us to be able to draw out um, uh, our reports on the dashboard okay so it tells me it's the year 2020 okay so if I'm supposed to draw draw out um, a dashboard report for the year 2020 because this helper column is there it, I can actually calculate the sales for only 2020 because of this helper column okay now the next let's add another let's go back and say do February another customer is called Winnie and then she's going to purchase say juice that's the price automated and then the quantity maybe she wants 100 and then still a sabia that made the sales another person so i'm going to move quickly this time updated our sheet so this is yours and not accessories anymore now we go to the dashboard and check out something so currently we have a total sales office we have five new customers okay realize when we we're starting it wasn't this so we have these are the number of sales we've done and these are the sales uh, records the total items that have been sold and then the new customers the total customers that are in there now when you go back to sales you realize that uh, some of the customers often um, we don't have their names okay so those ones can be blank however when we are talking about the print area we we'll just have to come and give them some names because uh, if you are going to print it out, we'll have to make sure we know the customer we are selecting for. Okay. Then let's go back to our dashboard. Now you realize from here that we have January, the total sales that was made that were made in January. And that is it so you realize that in January there was a lot of sales in February not not all that good in April not all that good in March um, pretty low okay the reason this December is popping up because that's the last date and it's zero so just ignore this okay <laughs> okay now when you scroll all the way down you can actually see the sales so you realize that the computer computers were sold a lot so the number of sales is high then down here so the number of sales is what you have here and then the amount is what you have here so you see it's around four thousand and close to four thousand okay so that is what we have here and then followed by the sales amount so this is the number that is four and then the sales amount and then the average sale okay so this is the average sale that was made the same for fruit juice mango and then rice okay so as you keep adding more products this is going to expand for you to see then let's come to a sales person sales people so we have a Sabia doing 47.4%, Kofi doing 46.8%, Ama the, the least sales 5.7%. This is to inform you 
that um, if maybe you want to lay off some stuff, you can quickly look at this and then know which branch or which uh, person is doing the more sales and then know where to focus most of your resources. All right. Then we have the salesperson. Okay, so when I select the salesperson, Asabia, it tells me that Asabia sells compute has sold computer, Jews, computer. Okay, so and then it's giving me the amount that Asabia has sold. So that's it, that's it. If I change this to Kofi, Kofi has sold mango juice and then computer, and that is how much he has made. Okay, so that is it for our dashboard. Now let's go to the invoice maker. Okay, so with the invoice maker, you would, yes, again, have to be sure to set up your, your items. Okay, so you select your item based on the item you select. Based on the item you select, the price is automated. So the person says, I want an invoice for, for soap, seven uh, honey and then say 50 bags of rice okay so this is it so normally this is for a service so that is where in ghana we have the nhil and uh, that 2.5 percent gets fund covered levy and then the vat so all these calculations have been done but if you are not in a service in the service sector you can reset all this to zero the only thing you're paying is the um, COVID levy and then this is three percent your VAT is three percent then it amounts to this okay it says note this is an invoice maker therefore it's static okay so you copy and paste results by highlighting the invoice move to the print sheet and paste into the invoice session. So watch this. I uh, this is now my invoice. I'm going to copy this. Just highlight the top part. Go to print. Highlight this top part. And paste special value only. Okay. Then the lower part. Go back to invoice maker and then I'm going to copy this. Copy, go to print. I like this session. Right click and paste. That's it. I'm clean this. I can change this to description if I want, or I could just delete the column okay now here is an input state because this one you're sending it to the client you will have to know the client's name so you can just replace this with um, with the roles okay and then enter invoice number so you can double click and then update your invoice number also okay this date is auto calculated today is third may so like you can see so this is third may so it's i said auto calculated <laughs> it populates by itself so every day it keeps updating now once you want to print you highlight the session like the instruction said okay before you print you can you can have your business name here so my my business sister that's what I call this okay and you can highlight and control P or command P the prints you will come here and then we change it to selected selected sales once we have done that we can go to next and 
and then we have it this way select our printer save it and or save it as PDF okay I think I already have one that is it for the invoice now let's come to the receipt so after sales you need to give your customer a receipt okay so let's say DD has purchased something from you and you want to pull out all the purchases that DD did let's change this to DD let's change this to DD so that day DD purchased about three things and let's change this to Hammer. Okay. So let's say this is also Ama. Now let's check this out. So we're going back to print. And then at print, we are going to choose a customer to choose DD. So you're coming back to print at print. We're going to choose the customer from here. Very DD. So you see, this is today's date. That is DD's purchases. And then this is how much DD is supposed to pay. The total amount DD is supposed to pay 9700 And DD, I receive a check from DD, which is a cash amount so a cash amount of say ten thousand okay then I'm, I'm supposed to give DD this change once I hand over the change all I need to do is just highlight this and then do my control P to print and I can move here and say selected cells then if you have a receipt printer connected to your to your machine printer or any form of printer connected to your machine then you go next and here you can click on this to select the printer okay and then you click print if you have no printer connected to it, you can save it as PDF and then email it to your customer. Yes, email it to your customer. You just click save and okay. So that is it for the invoice maker and then the sales. I hope this helped and if you have any trouble understanding anything, you know what to do, just relax and ask Asadia. See you, don't forget to share, like and subscribe.